Hey guys, wanted to show off my latest project. I've uh, been working on it, you know, on and off for about three, four days now. Just finished it and uh, wanted to show it off. Uh, it's basically a copy of a Dandy Power Trickler. <coughs> Excuse me. Also known as an Omega Trickler. Um, you know, with just parts I had laying around at home. Um, basically, uh, this is a quarter inch uh, thin wall aluminum tube I got off of eBay for five bucks. Uh, it's used for hobbies and crafts, uh, which this happens to be. <laughs> uh, this is, um, I believe, a, it's called a perfume funnel off of Amazon stainless steel. It was, you know, about five five dollars and change. Um, machined uh, the backside of this master lock. It's a truck lock. Um, as a base it's heavy enough and uh, just a 3 16 inch rod uh, uh, what's it called JB welded into it uh, slightly bent to give it an angle and this is a um, aluminum square bar I machined down to about three quarters of an inch on all, on all sides um, drilled a couple of holes for the funnel to meet up with the drop tube um, drilled and tapped uh, this nylon uh, thumb nut to, to have vertical adjustability on the rod and took a vibrate motor off of a 10-15 year old cell phone I had laying around in my drawer, a flip phone and JB welded that to the underside. I'll flip it over right now when I empty the powder out of it. So it, it is a copy of a Omega Trickler. I mean this idea is not mine. You know it's not an original so Give credit where credit's due. The Omega Trickler works exactly like this. I just figured I'd make one. Um, it's got two speeds. It, there's basically a AA battery holder in this project box. Um, yellow button only sends 1.5 volts, you know, one of the AA batteries to the uh, vibrate motor. And, you know, that's for fine dispensing, you know, one kernel at a time. Hopefully that comes out in the video. And the red button will send both batteries three volts uh, to the vibrate motor, which is a lot faster. So you can go to one kernel at a time, trickling just like the Omega. Again, give credit where credit's due. This is a direct copy of the Omega. I just like making stuff, and I figured I'd make my own. Slow speed, fast speed, works really well. Now, I really wouldn't recommend you make this yourself um, unless you have all the parts laying around. I priced it out. There's about 50 bucks worth of parts here if you have to, you know, plus you need access to a drill press or a mill. Um, I mean, just buy the Omega. I have a mill. You know, I can make this is simple enough where my novice machining skills, you know, will allow me to make something like this. But... I mean, if you have to go buy the project box, the buttons, uh, funnel, you know, this tube, uh, I'm, I'm sure you have a piece of aluminum square bar laying around, but I mean, it, it's, it's, it's above $50 worth of parts if you're to price it out even at the cheapest prices, because some of these things are sold in lots of 100 Like, for instance, I had to buy 100 to get one nylon nut, which was only like five, $5 and change, but, you know, still. Um, you know, I just wanted to show that you can make this at home if you want to. It's nothing difficult. Just take some parts and putting it together. Uh, let me empty it out so I can flip this over. Oh, there's still some more in there. All right, so try to stay in, in frame here. So here it is, just a simple hole here, hole here. They meet up together pretty well. Um, on the bottom, I I'm trying to stay in the camera. On the bottom, I you know milled out a spot for the vibrate motor to go, um, and JB welded the vibrate motor in place. Really simple. And there's still a few kernels of powder in there. Um, 
not sure if you can see that, but I stuck the tube all the way to the inside. I don't know if that reflection is going to let you see it, but uh, let me grab something to point with. Stuck the tube all the way right here. So the vibration makes the kernels actually go into the tube. The tube stopping kind of short right about here, it wasn't cutting it. Um, they were getting stuck at the lip of this, uh, you know, uh, when it hit the lip of this tube right here, it was getting stuck. So I made the tube come all the way back and started working perfectly. Well, that's about it. I mean, it's simple enough. If you feel like making one, go ahead. But I'd recommend you just buy the Omega Trickler because it does this and it's ready to go for about a hundred bucks. But if you enjoy a DIY project, um, go for it. Let me also show you what the inside of this looks like. It's nothing fancy. Just a simple AA two slot battery holder and some basic, basic wiring. Uh, these switches are momentary uh, switches. I had to buy like a bag of 20 to get the multicolored ones, which I'm, you know, I didn't have to, but I mean, kind of wanted multicolor. Um, so that's what the inside looks like. Just very simple wiring. Um, wish I didn't have to take out these four screws to get to the batteries, but you know, homemade DIY. Uh, that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Or if you need help building one, I'll be glad to give some advice. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you.